this afternoon we're going to be taking blood from a juvenile hawksbill. This hawksbill is probably about 25 centimeters, 26 centimeters or so long. The first thing we're going to do is just swab the neck with a little bit of iodine. So just clean it off a little bit. And then we'll go right away with our needle. Now the needle we're using is a 21 gauge a one and a half inch needle and it has a, a three mil syringe on it and so we're going to we're going to use that one we're just getting it out of the, out of the tube here <laughs> get it out of the case okay so we got a it's actually a five mil syringe with a 21 gauge one and a half inch needle. We're just gonna go in just a little bit, just uh, about a quarter of an inch or so underneath the skin, and we should be able to get the cervical sinus. We just go right in about here. Hopefully we can get that first go. Um, okay, let's see. There we go, the blood is coming in right now. And oh, might be a little bit too deep there. All right, it's quite shallow on these little juveniles. So you've got to almost come back to the surface when you're taking the sample. Um, we're going to get about a mil, mil and a half or so. Um, okay, I think we've got enough. And so put the first sample in a little tube so we can get some genetics. Uh, we can use this for genetics. Just a couple of drops and we've got some cell lysis buffer with that. And then the others we'll put in a tube and spin this down to separate the plasma and the serum out. So you can see that there. Get it in fairly quickly so we can spin it down. A little bit more than a full tube so we'll get another tube and we'll just use that as a whole blood sample about a half a mil there so about almost probably a little more than a mil and a half is what we collected so there's a nice sample of fresh turtle blood there mm -hmm. 